Are you a good witness? In the heat of the moment, could you accurately describe a suspect to help police? Officers rely on good witnesses to build a case, but not all witnesses are good. Our sister station in Portland, Oregon, put their reporters to the test with a mock crime caught on camera. Watch closely. You're about to witness what appears to be a crime, the theft of a camera. Hey, that guy's near our camera! The bad guy got away, but it's okay. This wasn't real. It was a simulation to help demonstrate how hard it is to be a good witness. As a police officer responding to a scene like this, um, you may have some very accurate descriptions and some not so accurate descriptions. To understand, we've got to back up a bit and explain our test. We told our co-workers to gather in the front lobby for what they thought was a promo shoot. Three, two, one. Get out and move! <laughs> Meanwhile, a guy pretending to be our bad guy approached the building. Our co-workers had no idea what would happen next. Hey, that guy's near our camera! Oh so, this was all a simulation. This is not a prank, we're not looking to embarrass anybody, it's a test. And what we're doing is, we're testing the ability to remember. Did you see the guy's hair? Did you see his clothing? Did he have a weapon? Do you remember anything about A what detective from the Washington County Sheriff's Office then not, interviewed not the witnesses one by one. The guy had uh, the tripod in his right arm. Running away with it in his left hand. Was there anything that stood out about the clothes? Did you see any distinctive features, any colors, or was were they wearing just a hat? dark? I, I, I want to say I I think they were wearing a hat. You remember anything else about the clothing? He was wearing shorts. Um, he was wearing shorts. I believe so. I thought I saw him wearing shorts. It looked to me all dark, all black, and almost kind of like he was dressed like a ninja or something. I don't know. <laughs> Did they, did they have a good description? There were 10 witnesses. Um, we got 10 similar stories, and we also got 10 somewhat different stories. Detective different Patrick Altair says it's not uncommon for witnesses to have a slightly different recollection. That's a problem with, with stress and, and a, a situation you're not used to being in, is you start to, your mind fills in the gaps for you. So what can we do to be a better witness? First, stay calm stay safe. We don't need people to try to stop these people. Then get a good description. Focus on specifics. Obviously, you know, the generals are good. You know, clothing descriptions, um, approximate age, approximate height, approximate weight, you know, facial features, you know, race is important. But what will really help is specifics. If you get a chance, write down notes. It'll help you remember later. And if you can, take photos or shoot video. Hey, that guy's in our camera. A crime can occur at any time, and if you happen to see it, you can help police catch the bad guy by being a good witness. So I now have the task of asking my coworkers if they are good witnesses. Wait I'm asking them about a particular worker here at WFMY News 2, Miles, one of our producers. Oh, no. Tahesha, you're up. Was Miles wearing eyeglasses today? No. No. What color was his shirt? Gray. Gray. No. What color is pants? Khaki. Khaki. <laughs> oh man. TB. Eyeglasses. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Yes. T-shirt. I mean, his shirt. What color? Uh, I have no idea. No, no answer. Idea. And <laughs> color of his pants? Uh, like a whitish khaki, I think. Okay. Also, <laughs> <that>. he just <laughs> usually <laughs> wears the <laughs> <those laughs> <words. laughs> yeah, glasses with miles. Uh, these are all guesses. One hundred percent guesses. Glasses. Yes. Yes. Uh, shirt. T-shirt, I don't know. Or he was color wearing shirt. one. He was wearing a shirt. How about his shirt? <laughs> what color was his outside shirt? shirt. Yes. I'm not sure what color it was. Okay. No okay. idea. This is Pants. Tough. Pants. I would say khaki, wow. but that's just a guess, and I'm just going with what everybody else is saying. <laughs> okay. Patrick. Uh, yes, glasses, I think he yes. is wearing glasses today. Okay, uh, what color is his outside cuter. shirt? I think it's a dark gray. Gray <laughs> shirt. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Pants. Oh, man. I want to say khaki, but I feel like he's wearing black. Black pants. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. We all saw him today. Yeah, yeah we yes. saw him. <laughs> we were in the afternoon right meeting. Next to me. So let's find out if you're all good witnesses. Miles, where are you? Come on out. Here he is. Wow. Oh, wow. All right. Wow. Yes, Whoa. yes, yes. 
<laughs> he is wearing his eyeglasses today. Uh, yeah. There's an outside shirt. Wrong, 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 wow. wrong. Oh, and oh, pants man. to Haitia, Tim, and Chatter all right. He was wearing khakis. Yeah. Patrick is, right? is wrong with the <laughs> wow. black pants. It's a lot harder than you would think it would be, right? Yeah, I thought absolutely. that was going to be so good. And he sits right no. across from me, so you'd think that I would know. <laughs> He's no not idea. wearing a t-shirt, just to be clear. <laughs> that I, that's why I was explaining. It's the outside shirt. And it was kind of a trick question. Wow. Yeah. That was a good experiment. Wow. Yeah. Wow.